Hey gang, welcome back to another video. Now, if you're anything like me, over the years you've collected some props that may be battery powered, but you've slowly converted over to maybe a 12 volt system like the one that I use. So how do you mesh the two together? Well, I've got your answer. Let me show you what I mean. I recently stumbled across these small moving flame LED votive candles that I'd like to use in our display, but I'm not a fan of having to turn them on and off each night. Plus the cell batteries they use can get expensive to replace. So after fellow maker BJ Oslin shared this trick on his Instagram, I knew it was worth covering in a video. This is a 12 volt step down circuit. It basically allows you to dial in the voltage of an outgoing power source. So if you're like me and run most of your lights off 12 volts, but have some battery powered props that require less, you can add this circuit in line and dial down the voltage to meet the requirements of your prop. I've connected two wire leads and a female barrel connector to make plugging in my 12 volt power supply easier for the sake of the video. In the future, I'll solder on some RCA connections. Now before we go any further, let's discuss battery voltage. Nearly all battery powered props will use one or more of these standard batteries. All but one of them run at one and a half volts. So to determine the voltage of your prop, simply add the voltage times the number of batteries. This LED moving flame candle runs off of a 3 volt cell battery. So with the 12 volt power plugged into the step down circuit, I'll use my multimeter on the outgoing terminals to determine the voltage. Then I can use the small dial to adjust until I reach the desired output voltage. It's extremely important that you wire this circuit correctly. Failure to do so will cause failure to the circuit which may result in injury, so proceed with caution. You'll also find input and output indicators on the underside of the circuit to help you on your way. With the voltage dialed in, it's time to grab a pair of snips and remove the battery terminal and wires from my LED candle. You'll see that I've marked a plus and minus sign on the candle. These are backwards. The correct markings are overlaid on the screen. I had them confused and ended up burning out the LED and tiny circuit that makes the flame move. So double check before you power up your props. Off camera, I soldered on new wire leads and it was time to connect the LED to the 12 volt step down circuit. And with my screw terminals tightened down, it was time to power it up. As you can see, the LED candle is running battery free and can now be integrated into my 12 volt system. So say goodbye to turning on individual props or even worse, forgetting to turn them off and having to replace the batteries. And just like that, we've converted a battery powered prop into one that can run off 12 volts. Pretty handy, right? Well, that's gonna do it for this one. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, but most importantly, go make something. Mm -hmm.